everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Hannah if you're new here thank you so much for watching so today I thought it'd be kind of fun if I made a video where I just kind of talked about what I've learned so far from being engaged so yeah that's what I'm gonna talk about um, before I get into the topic of today's video I just wanted to thank my brother for letting me film in his room because mine is completely filled with stuff and it's kind of messy so there's nowhere to film and also I am going to thank my sister because I stole this sweater from her room to borrow just to wear for this so she doesn't even know yet but um, if she sees this or when she sees it thanks Leah you're the best so anyway I thought it would be fun to share with you guys what I've learned from being engaged. So if you've been following along with my story, I got engaged about nine months ago in a week from today, actually. Um, yeah, because next Thursday is Valentine's Day, which will be Daniel and I's, Daniel, mine and Daniel's, is that how you say it? It'll be our two-year anniversary of dating, and then a month later we're getting married. So anyway, we got engaged nine months ago in May, May 13th. So since then, I've learned just a few things and I thought it'd be fun to share with you guys. Like I've said that a million times already, whatever. <laughs> so anyway, one of the biggest things that I've learned, and this is more about myself, but I didn't really, I hadn't thought of this, whatever. One of the biggest things that I've learned is that it's really hard for me not to try and compare me and my wedding and all that stuff to other people and their weddings. I realized I need to just stop comparing and just chill and not worry about who's getting married when or where they're getting married or all that stuff and just focus on like planning my wedding. Another thing that I have learned is that people ask you about wedding planning all the time, which is kind of to be expected, but um, yeah, so people are always really curious about wedding planning and like if you think about it If you know someone who's getting married when you see them like you know, you think like oh, they're getting married And so you want to ask them like how planning is going so I've definitely done that before So I can't say that I'm not guilty from doing that to people either But something kind of funny that I found is that for me personally I haven't been stressed about details for the wedding at all and Sometimes when I tell people that they're like they think it's weird and so I feel like that's kind of a strange concept is that it's weird for me not to be stressed out about my wedding because so many other people are and it's a big day it's a huge deal but um I just thankfully I haven't felt too stressed about planning and it's like 37 days away so yeah hopefully I will continue to not be stressed about it and we'll just keep on <laughs> keep on trekking along another thing that I have learned since being engaged is that time will fly by incredibly slowly if you have ever waited for anything you can probably understand what I mean when I say that but literally like if I think about it November was just like two months ago and it feels like it was last week it's already February which is insane but also, at the same time, March feels like it's still so far away, and sometimes it feels like we're never going to get there. But obviously, we are. <laughs> so, yeah, that's <laughs> that's something that I found, and honestly, like, I obviously knew that in other situations before, but yeah, that's been one of them. I guess this next one isn't necessarily something that I've learned. It's just kind of something that happened. Um, Daniel and I have spent most of our engagement apart. So I think I thought, well, this was kind of true, actually. I figured, like, when he got back home from school in November, actually, which was, he's been home for about three months now. So I figured, like, when he got home, things would start to get real and the planning would, um get more intense and it has like we've been getting things done been able to take care of things and some of that you have to wait to a certain point to get that one thing taken care of so yeah <laughs> um that was weird like we spent seven months apart I think about seven months our engagement apart we'll be engaged for ten months so we spent six or seven months apart <laughs> And then once Daniel got home, he ha he got a job, which is amazing. And I started working a new job three weeks ago, which has also been a huge blessing. But now our schedules are opposite. So um, I work from 9.30 to 3.30, and Daniel works from 3.30 to 1 a.m. So we see each other so like infrequently. It's really annoying. And I thought when he came home, it would just life would go back to normal. But then it's life. <laughs> and you can't predict what's gonna happen so that's fine it's just not what I expected and that's obviously gonna be different from everyone's situation so that wasn't really something I learned from being engaged but that's just what happened 
with us being engaged. So yeah, one of the coolest things that I learned since being engaged is just the way that God has opened so many doors and the way that he continues to provide for us for everything that we need, which is just awesome. Um, that's been just so cool and just having so many people come together and help me, help my mom, help our families just figure out how to plan this wedding. It's been awesome just all the different things <laughs> that have happened. We have been able to save money in a lot of ways which I would love to make a video about that like my tips on how to cut costs for a wedding and how to make it more budget friendly and everything. Another thing that I have learned is that people are terrible at RSVPing and not only are people really kind of procrastinating about RSVPing if that makes sense. Some people, so we sent out the postcards that ret gets returned to my house. So the postcards get returned to my house. And so there's a line for you to put your name on it. And then you either say if you can come or not. And some people we've had, some people who can't come and people who could come. And they just didn't put their names on it. So we have no idea who those RSVPs are from. And it's kind of funny. But that's something that I didn't know would happen. So my advice is if you're gonna do the postcard RSVPs like I did, I would number them and come up with some sort of system so that you know who's it, who, which RSVP you're getting, even if they don't write their name on it, because that was something I hadn't even thought of, and I wish I had sooner because that would just make it more convenient. But that is a big thing that I've learned that I did not see coming. <laughs> One other random thing that I've learned through being engaged and planning wedding and all of that sort of stuff is that finding shoes for me for the wedding has been the hardest thing. Like I said in one of the videos I just posted, I've literally had three pairs and the pair that I have right now I don't think I'm going to wear. So I have to go and find a fourth pair which will hopefully work and be comfortable. So um, I would also advise you if you need to get shoes, try to find them in store. I know I looked in stores I couldn't find anything anywhere so you might run into that struggle too and then I tried to go the online route and just haven't had any good luck on there so I wish you guys all the best luck if you are planning a wedding if you are looking for shoes if you're waiting for RSVPs whatever whatever phase you're at just good luck <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below i have a bridal shower coming up and the wedding is coming up and our honeymoon is coming up daniel and i haven't even told you guys where we're going yet but we have lots of exciting videos coming up so make sure you're subscribed to follow along and if you want you can definitely turn on that notification bell if you guys have any questions or comments what you learned when you were engaged whatever definitely leave that down below i'd love to hear from you guys and i hope you you have an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!